Probably some of the wandering entrance isn't exactly hidden. This again? I told you, we have. Maybe someone there. Thought I heard something. This is Kangar. Welcome back to Skyrim VR Mods. Today I bring you version 1.03 of Spellwheel VR, created by Shizov, who once again outdid himself. Spellwheel VR brings you a selection wheel for spells, bows, potions, food whatever you want and again makes this game look and feel like an actual modern VR game. So you press a button to spawn the wheel and then hover your hand over whatever item you want and then let go of the button and it is equipped automatically or consumed automatically depending on your settings. The center orb here unequips whatever you currently have in your hand. Before I go into the details, I want to emphasize how crazy Shizov is. The mod was created in the span of a few weeks only. And uh, yeah, he just played Blade and Sorcery and thought, oh, I like this spell wheel. <laughs> I want this in Skyrim. And so he made it. In a few weeks. Madness. Okay, so to use this mod, you need SKSE. And you also need SkyUI for this mod con configuration menu, right there. Uh, in addition, it requires Skyrim VR tools and it is highly recommended to play together with Higgs, the hand interaction, um, the hand interaction mod, and uh, together with Instant Equip and Immersive Draw and Sheath Sounds VR. I will link to all of these uh, required mods in the description and also to the install guide for SKSE. All right, let's have a look at the settings. So first of all, here at the presets, you can load a preset that is defined um, for the typical usage of a mage, warrior, rogue, or spell sword. You can also save and load uh, your own preset um, if you have the FIS mod installed. Here you can select, for example, the different buttons or button combinations you want to use. By default, you need to press the grip and the trigger buttons. Uh, importantly, you can select the behavior of the buttons to either pass through the original button by selecting the buttons and leave the second button empty, or you can select the same button or another one as the second button, which means that while it or the combination is pressed, it does not get passed through to Skyrim. And if you use the index controllers and want to use the touchpads, you can even do that, but for this you need the VRIK extra controller bindings in SteamVR and in the VRIK mod section. And if you have Higgs installed, you can use Higgs to grab the potions or food to consume it then like with Higgs. And uh, you can either select this to only be done when grabbable or you can also choose to unequip the items and then grab with Higgs, which is more immersive but takes more time in the fights. So this looks like this. You have the potion and then you spawn it directly in your hand and then you can eat it with Higgs. But if you, for example, have the axe equipped, it instantly consumes it. Here in the type window, you can select whatever you want to be shown in your left and right hand. And uh, yeah, you can choose basically everything. Um, and you can always choose between all or only favorited. And it even supports a bunch of extra stuff like the campfire gear, or you can also choose to have a journal menu or a weight menu 
as uh, as something you can select with your with your uh, spell wheel so that's really really cool look at that so this is the journal menu wait menu and then you get there instantly again for this journal menu from orb to work actually um, skyrim needs to be the active window so you need to click on it um, to make sure that it's in the foreground here you can select the different uh, scales or sizes and uh, distances and also the position this is something that's a lot of personal preference I for example increase the scale a little bit I also increase the distance and I set the vertical wheel position to zero and uh, you you can just play around with this it's really a really lot of personal preference here this nice uh, rise from the ground option is really cool look at that it comes from the ground Ooh. Yeah, it's it's cool, but I think in fight it's a little disorienting. <laughs> if you experience flickering of your orbs or they spawn very weirdly or something, try playing around with the spawn speed here and the moving speed. That stuff, or especially the spawn speed, this uh, this is potentially an issue depending on your performance. Another feature that I personally really like a lot that's the slow time. This means that you get a time slow when you have the orb on and you can even do that to only happen in combat but uh, just uh, so to show you it looks like this obviously that's a nice slow -mo. and you can select the, the time slow strength according to whatever you find most useful or beautiful I personally like this a lot because in fights sometimes yeah it just y you need a second to read to make sure that everything is fine and then uh, and then you can you can just let go and you don't die in the meantime all right so that's everything you need to know to get started with this awesome mod and yeah i i once again i just need to say how crazy it is that we have this now that skyrim has been uh, out for i think three years the, the gameplay is changed so much. It's so cool. It's absolutely amazing what a few enthusiasts can do. Absolutely amazing. So that was it for today. I hope you liked the mod and I hope you found the video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know your opinions in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!